Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jamie Klomp, everyone. Hi. Okay, so why is divorce so expensive? Because it's fucking worth it. Now, I tell that joke a lot, but it's not my joke, Then it got me thinking about Richard Studo. This motherfucker! So I've been going around and I'm doing videos about Tim and South Porcupine, and he pops on my stream one day. I'm looking at my phone, I'm scrolling through it, you know, I'm ignoring my family and everyone. I'm on my Facebook, this motherfucker says, look at me, Mr. Original, doing a video about Iroquois Falls. Maybe I'll do something. If Serb, if Serb had a picture of a person, it would be you, Richard Studo. But I'm, I'm fucking frustrated lately, folks. You guys get frustrated over the smallest things in the world, do you? I'm going to tell you about some of my small frustrations this week. I'm running in the Circle K to grab a pack of cigarettes, and there's always this one guy in front of me, and it's an older guy, he's about 73 years old, and he's about to reach in his pocket, in your pocket, and I'm like, I know what he's pulling out. He's pulling out that blue envelope filled with 79 fucking lotto tickets. God damn it, man, hit the fucking scanner, dude, but he doesn't want to, he's an old guy. So he pulls it out, his Kino, his Bingo, his 649, everything out there. Fucking no winner, no winner, no winner, no winner. Oh, I won two bucks, and he has to tell the clerk a story about his aunt that won two bucks 42 years ago. Move on, motherfucker! Then we're at the McDonald's drive-thru. Anyone hit the McDonald's drive-thru here? Let me tell you something about this place. First of all, it's a 45 minute wait, right? Long in line. You have hours to figure out what you're gonna, what you're gonna order. So I turn around to my kids, figure out what you're gonna order. We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. We get to the front of the drive-thru. What do you guys want? I don't know. What do they have? It's fucking McDonald's, 1967. Burgers and fries, motherfuckers. I do a lot of videos on social media, and I get some positive feedback, thank you, but I also get some negative feedback. And I asked Richard Studel to do me a favor. I asked him, can you just go into the comment section and find some of the negative feedback I'm getting and, and read it to me? So he printed it out and he handed it to me. So we're gonna share some of these comments that I'm getting from negative feedback from social media on some of my videos. Jamie Klomp is not handsome. He looks like if Caillou and Mr. Clean had a baby. Like, what the fuck? Okay, that first of all is very offensive, Richard. You know, as bald people all don't look alike. I got a message the other day and someone said there's a mural on Toke in 6th Street and it's you. No, it's just another bald guy, man. Son of a bitch. Anyways, maybe this gets better. Uh, I bet you Jamie cries all alone at night uh, if he does not get many views on his lame videos. Oh, yes, I do, man. I put so much work in those goddamn videos and only six views sometimes. It's offensive. I bet you Jamie is the only guy in Timmins who attends hot yoga classes. Okay, okay. I do beach butt. Okay, I can do a burpee, man. I can do a burpee. Serious. Okay. I was gonna try crack cocaine, then I see the effects it has on Jamie. I will live a clean life now. So there we go, we fixed that guy in lung space. So there we go, we at least we left that one person. I'm in a very happy relationship. Thank, thank you. But she, she has a hobby. Like, I like watching sports and I like watching movies, but she loves to argue. It happens to be her hobby. So sometimes, you know, when she's driving home, she'll send me a text that just says, MAD! or angry and i know it's it's an unwinnable thing you know and, and this story's been told a couple times before women remember every single detail first example if i come home from kfc and she loves kfc and i forget the orange crush with the extra ice this is an insult to our relationship and she'll say remember december 2017 when you forgot the diet pepsi motherfucker shopping okay so she wants me to do something with her and she wants to shop Ah, oh, motherfucker, shopping. I, like, I'm one of the sorry guys sitting in Ricky's on the couch for nine fucking hours looking at the same goddamn pair of pants, same fucking shirts. Fine, fucking move. So she's in, she, she's in the change room for about 30 minutes. I don't know what the hell goes on in these change rooms. But, so I decided, you know, maybe I'll sneak out to Lids, maybe the EB Games, check out a couple things I like at the Timmins Square. I sneak out literally for a couple minutes, I come back, and there she is with her hands crossed. You ruined the whole fucking shopping experience! It's tough being in a relationship because you have to tell your partner everything. And as guys, we're not used to that, right? You know, we do things the proper way. We hold everything inside and then we explode, right? That's the right way thing to do. Problem is when we explode, we always wreck our own shit. You know, we smash our TV or kick a, kick a hole in our car. I don't know why we do that to ourselves. But women expect you to tell them everything. And the problem is, now that I've told her everything, 
can ever break up with her because she's going to expose me as a fake and a phony. Whatever <laughs> they have. It, it, it is true. So we go out and we, we do these, th these videos in Timmins, right? And we have a lot of fun doing that. And a lot of people honk or, or wave. It, it is really cool when we do them. But sometimes like you just get the perfect audio and someone just honks in the middle of it. And like, hey, yeah, thank you very much, much for watching the video. And then if they leave, that stupid motherfucker fucked up everything. You son of a bitch. Jesus 